there she is. Oh. oh Maybe I go am. like this and pretend to put your hair behind your ears. Oh, let me swoop my hair back. Action. Action. Hi guys, how are you today? My name is Bailey Sarian and this is my mom. Hello, I'm back. It's been a year. <laughs> yeah, it's been a year. Can you believe it's been a year? It's been a year since my mom was here last time, but she, we weren't in good lighting. We were in my room and like the quality wasn't that great. Yeah, the material, everything was so yeah, good. Still, I still looked really good. Oh my I'm gosh, so we forgot Jackson. Sorry. How rude. This is Jackson. This is my mom's dog. I told people on YouTube that you were coming and I was filming with you and I was like, what do you guys want to see? You know? Yeah. What did they want to see? They wanted me to do your makeup, make you into me. Like do your makeup really heavy like I do my makeup. But a lot of requests that I get out there is how to do like mature makeup or just a more natural look. And that's what I want to do with my mom only because I want to show you how to do it because you're not. <laughs> She's Because I don't know how to do it. <laughs> it's not that you don't know how to do it. It's just, you know. No, I don't, I don't take the time. I, I'm in a rush in the morning. No, I want to, but I just don't know how to do it. I don't. I, you know what's really bad, though, is they send you these things. Okay. So I'm reading them, mm -hmm. trying to read them. Mm -hmm. And then the one I thought, oh, okay, I put it on my face. And then when I got my reading glasses, it was for your hair. Uh, so this is the issue. <laughs> so we're going to put Jackson down. And what we're going to do come first. Back for the, he'll come back for the revealing. Oh. He needs glasses. No, he needs eyelashes. He needs little glasses. So we're gonna prep your skin. Close your eyes. This is like, I'm don't afraid. be scary. <laughs> <laughs> it's not scary, see? Okay. This is like a drink of water oh, to the is. skin. Oops, sorry. I feel like I'm on a tropical island. So this is the uh, Beauty Elixir by Caudalie, and it's more of like a toner. It's gonna bounce the skin. Ooh, wait, that one smells really good. Oh, you like it? Yeah. See, some people like it's it. It's kind and of a minty. Yeah. Yeah. Some like people it. like it and some people don't like it. The smell for, to me, I don't know. I like this one. It smells good. Forget forget anything from yes, you. Yes, you do. I never get nothing. She's such a You're spoiled such brat. such a spoiled brat. Caudalie eye cream. We want to make oh. sure that the under eye is prepped, hydrated, ready to go. So okay. now we're placing a moisturizer on. Do you use a moisturizer? Yes. It's only two ninety nine dollars week. Does it work? But it works. No, it's because it, I ran out. I had one that it was by it. Oh yeah. So I was using that one because my daughter had given it to me. Cinda, <laughs> what kind of coverage do you like in your foundation? Full. You like what's full the, coverage? What's the correct so answer? There's, well, no. But what do you like for makeup? Do you want it to look really I natural? I don't. I want it to cover these spots, but I don't like it to feel heavy. I and uncomfortable. do not like, yeah. For foundation, I'm using the Kevin Aquan, the Etherealist. Oh, I really like that one. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Let me use a sponge. So this looks like a butt plug, but it's not a butt plug, it's a sponge. So I'm Wait, gonna- Wait, what's a butt plug? Google it, mom. <laughs> I'm not gonna use a primer because if your skin is well prepped, you can get away with no primer. Oh. So I'm starting at the center of the face because that's where we want the most coverage. And I'm just dabbing it on with a sponge because it will look more natural. So we just moved from um, two chairs to now I'm standing where mom's sitting. It's just easier this way. So tell your fans what you've been up to lately. Oh my gosh, you know what? It's been a year. A lot's happened in my life, just like you. There is no um, Bailey's new daddy. That never We're still in us. search for a new daddy. <laughs> we haven't found one. I, I don't know if I even, you know, I tried. I, I should tell you a story. I met, Oops, I met a guy, but... Let's move on. <laughs> that plug went right my <laughs> But I bought a place, and now everybody's calling me a hoarder because I haven't unpacked boxes. That's not a hoarder. Well, Uncle Desi came over and he's like, God, Cindy, you're a real hoarder. He's been living in the same house for like 100 Serious. years. Serious. Besides getting a place, I also got a new job. So when I packed up my office, I got all these boxes of stuff I had accumulated in my office. I don't know what to do with that stuff. So it, we had been on like three dates. It was like three dates. And I went over to his house and he's old, he was older, retired. So we were hanging out at his house and then I was leaving. Goes in for the kill with the French kiss, right? So when he's done, I had all this slobber all over my face. Ew. And I'm there going, oh my God, like I can't wipe it on my hands, right? And I didn't have sleeves. So the only thing I could think of was, oh, he has a t-shirt on. So I rubbed my face in his t-shirt to wipe the the look on his face. And he's like, I have never had anybody do that to me in my entire life. And I was like, what was I supposed to do with it? You got spit all over my face. And he was like, here I thought you were gonna tell me I'm this great kisser. Mom. What, what was I supposed you to do? You that so rude. <laughs> what was I supposed to do? It was just, I felt like it was dripping off my face. 
Hey! As you, as you young people call it, I ghosted him. Oh. So now I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So this is just gonna go right in here. So I'm just putting it at the darkest spot of the eye and blending outwards. So right in here. And then going with the thinner end, I can then blend it out. So I thought that went under foundation. I would put it on top. Okay. I like to conceal whatever my foundation doesn't cover. Oh, I see. Hey, you know the guy that I had met that I went out with? You know where I met him? Home, Home Depot. Depot. I thought he's a perfect match because I love Home Depot. Home Depot is like my favorite store. So I thought this is, this is a match. God has made a match for me. I met him at Home Depot. Well, he was just there with his brother. He didn't know first thing about remodeling. So I was like, you're useless. He's useless. Wow. One of my friends was like, hey, a good place to meet someone is at the grocery store. So I was walking around and I thought, oh, I'll just smile, right? So I yeah. passed this one guy and I smiled at him. Hi, you know, and kept moving along. Then we go down another aisle and there he is. I'm like, oh, hey, smiled oh. again, right? Yeah. Then we get to the third aisle and he goes, are you one of them? What? He goes, are you, are you one of them? One of them? He thought I was a hooker. What? <laughs> Like, oh, they hang out in groceries. I don't stores? know, but that's what he told what? me. And I thought, okay, this is like, what, $5 blowjob? What? What? In aisle five? I don't know. Is that a thing? I have no idea. Uh oh. But you just <laughs> I was covered like, like some kind of. I was like, I'm not in the grocery store ever again doing that. Did you I just like, smile at nobody. I keep my eyes down. I just need eggs, damn it. Did Get you out of my way, him? fucker. Like, what are you talking about? And what do you say? No, I was embarrassed. Oh, because you knew what it meant? Yeah, I, I knew what it meant. Because the way he said it and the way he kind of was like, you know, how much? or it, Just how the way much? he said it was creepy and I just knew what he meant. What? That's a thing? I don't know. You go find out. Now I'm taking the Laura Mercier loose setting powder and chance. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I don't even know where we are. Hooking at, at the grocery store is a, a new thing. thing. Was, now the okay. key to like not getting that cakey under eye is to take a fluffier brush, like, uh, rolling the powder into the skin. What? Yeah. I'm all, yeah. What? It's just gonna prevent it from getting cakey. If you layer it on super heavy, it's gonna look cake, which a lot of people don't want. And then you buff out the excess. So I think I used this the last time I did your makeup. I don't it's, remember that one. You don't? It's mm -hmm. the milk makeup. Um, it's a, It's called Quickie. In the shopping aisle number eight. We're, we have a theme here. <laughs> When you first met Fernando, you used to wear, you know, you had your wigs and your makeup and I always teased you. And let me tell you, dating with wigs is awful. There'd be a couple like makeout sessions. <laughs> Did it shift? No, I had one fall off. This one guy I was like making out with him and he like went like, and it, my wig slid off. And I was like, the only thing I could think was, oh no. So like his eyes were closed, so I was just like. <laughs> It, it was months you were dating him. I kept asking you, has he seen you without your wig or makeup? Yeah, he saw me without makeup. Makeup I was comfortable taking off. I didn't I care. I didn't think so. You were, yeah, mm. because there's a couple guys that I would hang out with and take off my makeup. Like, I didn't care. But it was the hair that I was insecure about because I didn't really have much hair. Now I'm kind of back to square one, so it's like full circle moment. Anyway, so I would sleep with my wigs <laughs> on. I would go in the shower. <laughs> and they'd be like, wanna go swimming? I'm like, oh man. So how long before he finally saw you without the I don't remember. I don't know, I think I just had like my hair. I didn't even say anything and he didn't say anything. He never like commented me on my hair though. That some of those wigs were a little much. I was you trying look back to and think? find, wigs are complicated. I, Finding wigs, I think they know cause I've done wig hauls and stuff. Like it's hard to find wigs. It's so hard. Gosh, I'm looking wonderful already. I may make some money at that grocery store. So I'm using a Liger powder brush and the <clears throat> Jeep. Oh no, this is Guer Guerlain. Yeah. This is like a setting powder or it kind of gives you an all over glow. So I don't want to make you too matte cause that can enhance texture. But I also want to set. I just, you're so fancy with that brush. So this is one of my favorite products by Kelly Baker Brows and it's the Tinted Brow Gel. This is nice because you could just brush it right through your eyebrows. So you just comb it right through. I don't like. See the before and after? You don't like it? I don't like when I see people that like draw them in and you could see like the pencil line and stuff. I just, it, I'm sorry. It's just, I'm not a fan of that. We're adding some warmth into your face. See that's that? true. You're right. Okay, what do you, look at, that one even goes higher now that I'm you've colored saying, it. I'm just saying, trying to let you see, visually see and let everyone at home visually see what the difference an I, eyebrow can make. So I love eyeliner as a base and I just smudge it and then put shadow on over it. It'll, per, it'll keep it from creasing, it'll make it more vibrant. So I'm gonna put this right at the base of your lash and then I'm gonna take a pointed um, brush and just smudge it. 
See, you can't see it with my big... We're not done. Gotta be positive, because she'll yell at me. And now... Don't say anything negative around Bailey. Makeup Geek Eyeshadow and Frappe. I'm taking a small crease brush, and with your eye open... Oh. Relax, just look straight ahead. I don't know why you're getting so mad, I'm, I'm just... You don't give me any direction. I just said open, that was your direction. <laughs> Relax. Oh. Buddy, where to mark your new crease. Okay. So when you have a hooded lid, feel you have a brow bone right here, and then underneath your brow bone is like a hollow area. Or also, if you tilt your head backwards, tilt, you can kind of see a little hollow area. And that is your crease. I like to mark it first, and then I'll blend it. So just going more back and forth, straight versus that like rounded back and forth. I'm taking the Makeup Geek Eyeshadow in Stealth. It's matte. I'm going to just place it, close your eyes, edge of the lid, just coming straight up. So you don't have to be super perfect, just straight up, like a little box. And over the liner, it will intensify the shadow, make it a little bit more smokier. Again, or my blending brush, I'm just gonna soften it. Green ear color, this is also by Makeup Geek. Geek, it's called Mirage. The, that gray shade, just look up. And I'm just gonna come right in here. So I just put on a pair of false eyelashes onto my mom. So that's one eye done and the I'm other really one sorry. not done. Yeah. So you yeah. like it? Yeah, I do. Here we, I did the other eye. Now we're <laughs> gonna do a lip gloss because lip gloss is easy every day. It adds a little bit of color. So this one is by Buxom, it's called Sandy. And I'm mm. giving it to her because. And she so, forgot the brush, so I lucky for, me. Forgot the brush. It's tingling? It's a plumper. It's a tingling. Well. It's tingling. Mm -hmm. Ooh. How old do I look? Oh, yeah. Let's worry about your hair. Anyways, thank you guys so much for oh, yeah, watching. Thank you. Hope you have a great day today. You make good choices. Let me know what you think down below. If you want mom to come back? Thank uh, you. See you later. Bye.